Hey guys, how are you getting on? Today I'm spreading the last of the fertilizer for the year. So tomorrow is the 15th of September and uh, that's the close date for chemical fertilizer. We can't spread after that because um, obviously we'll be moving into winter and growth rates will, growth rates will slow down and with uh, ground conditions getting colder and wetter. So the response to fertilizer isn't as good and uh, there's an increased chance of, of runoff and leaching. Normally, uh, throughout the summer, when I'm spreading fertilizer, I try to spread once a week um, and spread all of the paddocks that the cows graze in that week. So you're kind of following behind the cows and you're putting out enough fertilizer for the grass uh, until the next time it'll be grazed. I usually go with the rule of thumb of one uh, kilo of nitrogen per hectare per day uh, until it's going to be grazed again until I'll be spreading again. So that's kind of the rates I go throughout the summer. But at the moment we're in a long rotation now and uh, obviously it's the last bit of fertilizer I'm going to spread out now. So. Um, and we'll be putting out about 30 kilos of nitrogen a hectare. So I got a little bit left from yesterday. Just a small bit. I think Dad's down there now. Let's go pick up some bags and fill me up. spreading today is protected urea that's mainly what we've been spreading all year bar uh, some compound fertilizer of 18612 so protected urea it's the urea it's 46 percent nitrogen so just nitrogen and uh, it's protected so that means it's got a little film on it you'll see it is the yellow color on it that's the uh, protective stuff to stop it it's to reduce its emissions so um, it's just for the environment really that you have lower emissions. So we uh, we are, have our neighbours over trimming the hedges. Actually, same me for who owns the spreader. So he trims the hedges for us, and he does a really good job. Really nice and neat and tidy. Um, so he's been here the last week or two, uh, getting all the hedges. We have about nine and a half kilometres of internal hedgerows on the farm, and uh, when you include the boundary, then it's about over 21 kilometres of hedgerows. So. It's a good bit of ground to cover a lot of hedges on the farm, um, which is good. Uh, obviously, uh, hedgerows are a huge benefit to like uh, sequestering carbon, uh, biodiversity, providing habitat for food for birds and wildlife.
are doing a bit of zero grazing we have never done this before so this is basically where we cut the grass and bring it into the cows my previous videos you'll recognize this is the big field that we reseeded earlier this year we take cuts of silage off and we were hoping to get a third cut off it to make some bales but unfortunately august the end of august was quite dry and uh, we just had to uh, eat this grass now it's as it's a good bit from the farm the cows are actually across the hedge at the moment we had to walk up the road to access some of these fields but uh this is quite a big field there's a lot of grass so it'll take a few days walking on the road plus the water access isn't great here so we have to bring water to them so we've decided to try zero graze in some of it zero graze is there picking up a load and uh see how that goes down the line we would like to improve some of the uh, infrastructure with tracks and stuff to be able to come more direct to these paddocks and not have to walk up the road maybe we can just go directly across it and that but those things take time so for right now he's zero grazing away figure uh, guessing before we were doing it we were estimating that this will cost as pretty much the same as if we were to make bales uh, we'll see now more after we've done a bit uh, if we think it's, it's still the same oh this is a handy tool for farms that might have a, an outblock that they cut for silage uh, if they don't have animals to graze it they want to bring the grass back uh, to cows it might it's it is a good tool but uh, again expensive way to eat grass but we're going to try it out for now and as i said into the future hopefully we'll improve access that we can graze all of this field grass on this field is is looking really well um we obviously seen my previous videos when we received it we got hit with dry weather and uh, we stitched it in and some old grass did come up uh, in the time because the new grass is delayed due to the dry weather uh, but the new grass has seen, really seems to have taken over now um, cutting it worked better than uh, grazing it the cows did, when we tried on the other field grazing the cows didn't really want to graze out the old grass so we did cut it uh, afterwards the second time when we did we pre mowed it and that, that seems to be working well because uh, the, the old grass just is too slow to grow back and the new grass dominates so really happy with how they're turning out. So that's two loads in there now. You can see this is a full load here. He spread out one on the other side and we put one more here. We'll see how long that lasts them. Second day doing it, we did it two days ago, we got two loads. Uh, so we're still trying to figure it out. Very nice grass though.
could do with a little bigger edge on the concrete, but time and money.